Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about this pine knot that you see me batoning with all the time. Nobody's ever commented on it. Yes, I use it for a baton, but I also use it for bulk fatwood and for a bearing block. We used it to bearing block this mullen and it did a great job. It was almost friction free. But today we're gonna to use it to barren block a pine spindle on a sourwood fireboard. And we're gonna scrape some fat wood off of here. And of course, we'll use this as a baton. Let's get started. This is a round of white oak. It's my more companion stainless steel, very sharp edge on it and a very sharp spine. Let's baton. Let's go ahead and make the fire lay. Clean that spine off, always, before you strike the ferro rod. That's not a lot of material. I know it's all fluffed out, but there's not a lot there. Bayite keychain ferro rod, three and eighth inches long by five sixteenths. You get a three pack of them on Amazon for $15. Give that a chance to catch. All right, let's use that pine knot for a fat wood bearing block. This is a pine spindle and a sour wood fireboard. And I'm not gonna use that big divot. Let's just cut another one.
Yeah, that's a lot easier. I can get a full stroke in on it too. sure is happening a lot. Another broken fireboard. I'll show you the broken fireboard once we get the flames. I don't need all of those pine needles. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Another broken fireboard. It's getting to be a habit. Luckily, the amber was not ruined, and we could save it. Here is our fatwood bearing block. Did a good job. Very little charring in that hole. Very little charring on the end of the spindle. Here's the bark off of that white oak.